Hello, Amy here, back with another video. I am unboxing the viral TikTok electric spin scrubber brush. I am going to be putting it to the test and clean my dirty guest bathroom today. You could see that it has different brush heads, four of them, two large ones and two smaller ones. This round large one is like to clean larger areas. And this is the electrical cord. It's rechargeable. You can, you know, charge it. But this one came fully charged. So I don't need to charge it for the first use, but this is how you would do that. And this is the head. It's not supposed to be submerged in water. And you can see there's a, a second large brush that I'm gonna be using. Uh, to clean my bathroom today and these are the two smaller ones and by the way this is not a sponsored post I did purchase this myself because I need help in reaching not to overreach higher areas and not to bend too low I need to protect my back so this is the detachable the are extendable handles you can you know adjust the length to make it as short and to make it as long as you like and you can see that you can just quickly adjust it here and this is all that is in the box it comes with uh, the instruction here in several languages so i'm following it and this is where you would plug it in to charge it if you need to i am putting the uh, the first part of it on it's just uh, clicking it and there's a second part for the head of it where you are this is the head and this is where once you adjust this part you would attach the different brushes whatever brush you opt to use for the job that you are doing you would screw the brush in there and then you know if you need different brushes head you would remove one and put the other so i think it's uh the length is fine for me for uh, for what i need to do and this is how you would put one of the small heads it has two different uh, sizes and for the big ones it has two different ones so I think it was very, very easy to put on and take them off. And this is the biggest one. Well, one of the big ones, and there's also a round one as well. And these are like to clean larger areas. And once you uh, put the power on, uh, you would see later on, you don't really have to do much work, too much elbow grease and here i am trying to show you the length of it this is at the bottom where you would plug it in and charge it if you need to this is how you would do that okay and once you press power you would see that it really does does most of the work right you would see that it starts spinning by itself and this is the length of it let's put it to the test
This is after I was done cleaning, mopping the floors, cleaning the toilet, and scrubbing the sink and around the sink cabinet and the counter that you'll see me cleaning behind the faucet. I light up a candle, putting some fall decor and pumpkin. Everything came out really nice and clean and fresh. I don't know if I'm the only one, but once this guest bathroom is clean, it was very, uh, well, it was dirty before. <laughs> once it's clean, I feel like closing the door and lock it and don't let anybody use it. But anyways, that's not possible. <laughs> but that's how I feel after I clean up any room. Am I the only one? Please let me know in the comments. Do you guys share this sentiment as well? Once you're done cleaning a room, or an area you don't want your kids to come in and use it and mess it up <laughs> anyway overall i like using this brush i don't have to do much of the work myself the brush uh, helps uh, cleaning out those tight areas especially the tight area behind the uh, faucet please stay tuned subscribe to the channel for more cleaning content take care